Hey guys, back again, uh, another review. Um, this is the Heavy Metal uh, Masterclass book. Um, it's £18. Uh, you can get it from Games Workshop and you probably get it cheaper elsewhere. We'll see what's going on. Um, it came out just before Christmas, so maybe money spinner, but maybe not. Um, I've had a look through the book and I just want to have a go through it with you and just show you what's what. So, there we go. Um, so, what you can see from here is that it covers the following tutorials. So, let's have a look. Um, Captain Kato Securus. These are just various models that are out there. I know what you're thinking. Well, what's the point in getting the book if I don't have the model? Well, the thing about that is that if we look at Captain Sakaris, um, yes, it's a painting guide for Captain Sakaris, but um, as you go through this book, you'll see that there are various techniques that you can apply to different models. Um, the probably best one here would be this gold, um, how to paint gold. I mean, there's lots of models out there that teach you how to paint gold. Um, so yeah, you could apply it to pretty much anything. Uh, different sort of uh, blending with the cloaks there, um, from painting like freehand lining. So it's pretty good. I mean, it applies to like a lot of different types of models. Um, if I have a look through this book, um, it's painting green skin. I mean, even if you're doing a Warhammer Fantasy or Warhammer 40k, I mean, you're going to be painting a lot of green skin. So that's it's something good that can apply. Um, Let's find one I've actually used. Right, right. Here we go. Um, this this is a tutorial they had in White Dwarf, I think it was. But it's for painting Wolfguard. You may recognise the model. He's kind of vicious. He's got both claws out. He's just screaming. Um, so actually, I've gone through this tutorial. I had a little bit of a look at the face. So, painting faces, either you love it or you don't love it, let's be honest, but hey, um, one of the down points I found in the book is they say about blending and then they say about applying the next layer, things like that, but they don't actually point out where on the model to apply the next layer, so it could be still on the cheeks or on the nose, and it's kind of hard to tell from here where you've done it. So. I've got an example of what I've done. Um, I actually did the face and the hair. So here we go, here's the model here. I did have this lying around. So I did follow the tutorial. It didn't turn out perfect, but it is fairly all right. I'm still working on the old lightning claws, as you can see from there. Um, I've a little bit away through the hair, but it's all right. So there's that. It is a really nice model though, really heavy though, because this isn't in fine cast, this is metal still. So, there you go for that. Um, I don't know else what to say, and um, there was some really, really good stuff with the actual book. It is worth getting if you want to improve your painting or just generally to have a look at some of what they do in the actual workshop down there. Um, there was stuff I didn't like, Elrond. Uh, painting elf, elf flesh. Now, I don't know about you or me, but I don't think Elrond was an albino or stayed in the dark for a very long time, but I think the skin color is really, really, really too, too white, I'd say, but I wouldn't take this book as law, so definitely do as you, you want, but as you can see from the pictures, I think they really have put him way too white. I don't know, you can look in the comments, Tell me a comment if you think that's way too white. I don't know. <laughs> um, as again, you got blending with blues, you got painting metal, some good stuff in there. Uh, applying fine details. Um, that was another good one I saw. Uh, there's painting bronze. Um, there's directional lighting. It does explain quite a bit about that. It's quite an interesting kind of book when you look at 
uh, stuff that gives off light so like candles would make this side of his head brighter and it talks quite a bit about that um, it's not an easy technique to master but well I have mastered it to be honest I've never used it but it's got some great examples um, these are from previous games day videos as you can see there's Aragon there and you can see that the light is blending and you can see he's got a lighter like kind of glow from the light on his face there's another one there where they've managed to make this whole area uh, lighter due to the effects um, what else have we got in this book uh, another tricky thing if I can find it <laughs> There we go. No, that's not it. Here it is. Um, if you ever wanted to know how to paint uh, scales, because a lot of characters and creatures in both Fantasy and 40k have scales, it's quite a good tutorial on that. I mean, there's definitely, definitely quite some worth to it, so I do recommend picking up the book personally, but you can have a look at it in the shop. You can decide for yourself then. Uh, it's having like horned effects. Things like that, but overall, I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. Uh, five, sorry, four out of five. Where did that scale come up? I don't know. Um, yeah, it's all right. Uh, it's a bit short, I suppose, but it's it's quite fairly thick. Um, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments, um, and I'll try and answer any questions you have on the book. Anyway, thank you for watching.